Hey everyone, I'm Kendall Wyatt, the content director here at Picmonic. Today we're going to talk about five different classes of medications that are antibiotics you need to know for your nursing exams as well as NCLEX. We're going to talk about tetracyclines, aminoglycosides, fluoroquinolones, cephalosporins, as well as macrolides. Now let's take a look at our Picmonic to just hit on some really important high yield facts for tetracyclines. You need to know tetracyclines because of the ending cycling. These medications are really high yield antibiotics and you can go into our Picmonic learning system to see those high yield details like making sure that you don't give them with milk, antacids, or iron because tetracyclines are a cation and bind in the GI. It's important education points you need to know. Make sure you know them, those are really important. Now for tetracycline side effects, you can go to our tetracycline side effects picmonic and you'll be able to see that if you give these medications, it's very important for bone development because they're cations, they bind to calcium. So if we give these to children under the age of eight years old, that's a no-no. It's also a no-no to give them to pregnant women. A no-no, no-no, slap your hand, don't do it. Along with those bone deformities, don't forget about teeth. Teeth discoloration is a really high yield fact to make sure you know for tetracyclines for all of your nursing exams. The next class of antibiotics we'd like to talk about are aminoglycosides. And inside of Picmonic, you can remember aminoglycosides as this amigo glider. Aminoglycosides are one of the most difficult ones to remember because they end in the drug ending mycin. And you can remember here as the mice ends club for mycin. Now, first you're gonna say there are other drugs that end in mycin, but when you think of aminoglycosides, you can take a look at our picmonic and remember the NATS, G-N-A-T-S, mnemonic to help you remember the actual aminoglycosides. You'll see our gentleman mouse for gentamicin. You'll see our neon mouse for neomycin. We'll see our moccasin mouse for the one outlier, amicacin, as well as the cobra mouse for tobramycin. And the last one here in the mice ends gentleman club, streptomycin for stripper mouse. And you can remember all of those by remembering that acronym NATS, G-N-A-T-S, and each one of those corresponds with the name. Now aminoglycosides are toxic antibiotics you need to know. You need to remember that they have to measure peak and trough of these because they're very toxic. You can see right here that they're ototoxic. So a patient may have ring of the ears or tinnitus, you know to stop that medication as well as nephrotoxicity, our kidney with toxic green glow. Let's take a look at another drug class of antibiotics, macrolides. Now macrolides are really high yield because they're so commonly given. So macrolides, you can remember the macaroni lights here inside of our picmonic, but what are the endings here that's different? And don't mix this one up, it's really important. Everything's important. Everything's important. What is the drug ending you need to know with macrolides? It's thromycin. So for thromycin, we like to use in Picmonic the throwing mice, and you can remember them right here being tossed around. So what are the macrolide antibiotics? Well, you can remember the name ACE. You can remember azithromycin, or Zithromax, you've probably heard of, or z -Pack, or if you've had a particular STD, but we're not gonna go into that today. As well as C, clarithromycin, and E, erythromycin, all ending in the drug ending, thromycin. So when we talk about macrolides, really the big high yield thing is to remember that you're usually given for upper respiratory infections. And if you're given a macrolide antibiotic, especially erythromycin, you may have a prolonged QT in your ECG. Now it's also important for most antibiotics, especially macrolides, we give them long term, we have a high risk of developing Clostridium difficile. And you can see that here as this differential classroom equation. Another type of medication I wanna talk about are cephalosporins. You can identify cephalosporins with picmonic, we like to use the chefs. Instead of having a drug ending, they have a prefix. So when you see all those drug names that start with ceph, you can remember the chef and remember that those are cephalosporins or the chef spore head character. Super high yield point, it's the one drug that we always jump to when we talk about penicillin allergy. That's really important. And you can remember it inside of our picmonic with the allergy alligator and the pencil villain. Now let's take a look at our last class of antibiotics, fluoroquinolones. Now fluoroquinolones, we like to portray as the flower queen because you can remember fluoroquinolones and those drugs because they end in floxacin. Fluoroquinolones and floxacin, you can remember inside of picmonic because of the flock of oxen. For fluoroquinolones, you can remember drugs like ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin because they end in that drug ending, floxacin. There are important teaching points you need to know. Educate patients to avoid milk or antacids, shown here as our avoid sign milk and our ant on an acid bottle. Along with that, you can have GI distress. 
shown here by our GI distress guide. Now, fluoroquinolones has one really high yield topic, and that's the risk of Achilles tendon rupture. And you can see that here with our Achilles man with his tendon being ruptured. You can take a look at all of our drug classes of antibiotics, more than just this five, inside of our Picmonic learning system. Go to Picmonic.com today to see all of the Picmonics here, as well as more. We have tons of antibiotics and other drugs and diseases and disorders that you need to know. You can try it out today with a free trial at Picmonic.com. Good luck studying!